welcome to my channel and welcome to a new video. If you're new here, hello, my name is Victoria. I'm currently in college studying fashion, but I read a lot in my free time and love to make videos about the books that I read. So that's what we're doing here. If you're new or if you've been watching for a while and just haven't subscribed, you know, it would be wonderful if you would join the little book community that we have going on here and click the subscribe button. I would really, really appreciate that. I have a really... I have this blanket that I made last year. So, you know, grab a little blanket, go make yourself a cup of tea or coffee, something that you enjoy. Come back and let's talk about the books that we're gonna read and hopefully, hopefully read in December. We got a little stack going on here. So these books here are either new to my shelf or have been on my TBR list for a possibly embarrassing amount of time. So, the goal this month is just to start getting through the TBR list. Um, if you want to know what else is on my TBR list, I made a video about that. I'll link it up up here um, and you can go check that out, see what else uh, I need to read. <laughs> and then every time I buy a book, you can say, hey, you got books to read. Why are you buying more? That's what my mom tells me all the time. I'll be honest, I probably won't be able to tell you much about what these books are about. You'll have to wait for my December wrap up. I just want to let you guys know what I am hoping to read. I can feel myself fighting the urge to ramble on <laughs> about literally anything. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna show you the books before I get carried away. First up, we have Fable. This one I got fairly recently. So this is a new one to my shelf. Ah, the cover. The cover is basically what drew me to this. I've seen this duology on people's bookshelves. I don't have the second one, but the second one basically is the other half of her face and people have them just like together on the shelf. And I was just like, I want that. I want it. And I believe this book is a fantasy book regarding pirates. As far as I can recall, I haven't read anything about pirates really. So I got this one. It was also part of Reese Witherspoon's book club. It's a YA book. Should be fun. Next, this book I got for my birthday in September. It's Rebecca by Daphne de Maurier. I am so excited for this one. I've heard fabulous things about it. Without knowing much about this book, I want to say it could potentially be similar to Verity by Colleen Hoover. Maybe not quite as dark. But I think I'm thinking there's potential for there to be a slight similarity. I believe this is also a psychological thriller, I wanna say. I could be completely wrong, like I said. I know pretty much nothing about any of these books, so I could be entirely wrong. Next up, I'm so late to the game on this one. This is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. This has been on my shelf for a little bit, and even when I bought it, it was like a little bit after like the, the peak of its popularity. Um, I think, is this one being turned into a movie? I know one of the e. Schwab's books is being turned into a movie, I wanna say, and I think it's this one. I've heard such wonderful things about it. I all have also heard that it's a little bit slow paced, which isn't something that I typically gravitate towards. So hopefully this is something I will enjoy. I'm excited for this one. Honestly, I'm just excited about every single book that's on my December TBR list. But I think this one might be one of the first ones that I read since it's been on my shelf for the longest. It's kind of embarrassing how long I've had it and haven't read it yet. I don't know about where you live, but here in Southern California, it does not feel like fall. And even though today is like a cooler day, it's in like the 60s, I, it's still warm with a sweater and a blanket. <laughs> I'm just doing it for the aesthetics of the video, just so I can feel like it's December, even though the sun is shining, the birds are chirping here in SoCal. <laughs> Next up, we have Julia Quinn's The Viscount Who Loved Me, which is the second book in the Bridgerton series. And this one is from Anthony's perspective or Anthony's story, as it says on the title. So the first book is about Daphne and her perspective. And I was really confused when I finished the first book because it completely wrapped up Daphne's story. And I'm like, there were like six more books in the series. What could it possibly be about? So as far as I'm understanding, every single book is about a different Bridgerton sibling, which I thought would be cool. I've never read anything like that before. So we have the second one. I enjoyed the Bridgerton book. Have yet to watch the show. I'm curious to know if you've read the books, um, would you say that the show's better? Is the book better? Are they completely different? Because I know that's definitely a possibility. Next, this one I think will just be a super cute, fun, wintry, romantic book to like romance book 
to read. So this is Meet Me in London. I picked this one up in the bookstore a couple weeks ago. I thought that it was so fun. The cover is adorable. I love the illustration of it. I'd love to check out who the illustrator is because I love their style. I thought this was just such like a cozy looking book so hopefully it'll just be a fun romance book. I'm thinking it could possibly be like the winter version of the X-Hex potentially. We'll see though. I know I keep like comparing books even though I haven't even read it. Also the main character in this book's name is Victoria and she's also a fashion designer. Is it me? It could very well be me. Speaking of fashion, brings us to the last book, which surprisingly enough is a nonfiction. I never read nonfiction. This is The New Fashion Rules, coincidentally by somebody else named Victoria. If you're familiar with the In The Fro Instagram page or blog or YouTube channel, this is her book that she wrote about the new fashion rules, specifically written for fashion students. So. As someone who will be starting fashion school very, very soon, I am super excited to read this one. I'll be starting there in July, so I'm hoping to read this one before then, hopefully in December, um, so I can just kind of be a little bit prepared getting in the mindset of actively studying fashion in fashion school. So here we have it, all the books that I am hoping to read in December. I like to make these stacks just to like mentally set myself up for hopefully achieving the goal of reading books in December, but honestly, I just keep this as like a loose list in my head. At the end of the day, I just wanna read books and I just wanna read books that I'm enjoying in the moment. So if I decide, you know what? I wanna reread Harry Potter in December. There's a very good chance that I might do that and completely abandon all of these books and that's okay. Alrighty, well, that brings us to the end of today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed and I'd love to know what's on your December TBR list. So comment a couple titles down below or the entire list whatever you would like. I would really, really love it if you would hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up so I know to continue making videos like this in the future. The next books I'm going to read in, in a specific month will be next year. That's insane. We're almost at 2022. My brain like cannot comprehend that this year is almost over. I will not see you guys next year though because December's not over yet. I have lots of videos coming for the rest of this month, so I will catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.